and this was hitting in the upper 40s and 50s and it's tarnished pretty bad it's an old ring but uh, it's been in the lake so long I don't know what it is it's gonna take a while but it's my first ring in the, in the swimming area Well, good morning everybody uh, today is Saturday and I'm shooting this video while traveling down the small town roads of Talsi Latvia I'm on my way out to a lake that I've had my eye on for many years this is my 10th year to come to Latvia I've done a lot of metal detecting in the last two years over here but I've never gone out lake hunting and a lot of the reason is because I'm very busy in the summer and I can't really break free but this year I'm able because of COVID-19 I'm able to come over and uh, uh, have some time to do a little lake hunting you know getting into the country was a whole different thing it was an act of Congress and really a miracle of God that I even got into this country but I did and uh, I'm on my way it is actually it looks very daylight right now but it's actually 5:55 in the morning uh, the Sun rises at 4.30 in the morning here and sets at 10.30 at night. So we only get like six hours of night time. And uh, so I wake up every year at five o'clock in the morning, just like, just like, you know, like it was 10 o'clock. And uh, so I couldn't sleep any longer. I got up, got my wetsuit on. Yep, gotta wear a wetsuit because even though it is warm over here, it's summertime, the ambient temperature in the, in the, in the night times around uh, 55 degrees and even though the Latvians claim that it's hot, uh, hot to them is 75 degrees and so I know the water is going to be pretty cold and they, they're Latvians, they can get in and swim in it with nothing on but shorts but this East Texas boy, I'm coming prepared with a wetsuit and that uh, way it won't be too cold and so uh, I've got about a 20 minute drive up to the lake. Hopefully there's not gonna be anybody there at six in the morning. And uh, this is one of those things, you're in a different country. You don't know if uh, there's gonna be anything there. Do they wear jewelry like they do in America and lose it? Uh, the, the coins here are gonna ring up different on my detector, my AT Pro than they would in America. So I'm really going in, in, into this blind. I don't know if it's gonna be, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna get there and I'm just gonna dig every single signal that I have because I don't know what the coins are gonna ring up as I know that gold and silver will still ring up as gold and silver anywhere and uh, it could be one of these things to where I find nothing at all it could be something where there's nobody in this country that water hunts and, and this is a very popular lake and a very very popular uh, swim area I could hit the mother low. who knows, who knows, but you're gonna see what I find when I find it, and we're gonna try to make a video of it. So I've got a little bit further to go, so just sit back. When I get there, I'm gonna throw my drone up, kind of give you an aerial of it. So just sit back and watch the aerial view, and then I'll see you off in the water. to the lake at six in the morning i don't know apparently in latvia there are so we're gonna go out here and there's people already fixing to swim believe it or not wow it's crazy so i'm gonna get out in the water let's go see what we find cold as I thought it was it's pretty clear uh, and those people just got out of the pool so I can talk a little bit but all I found is two coins so far coins are ringing up real low like in the 30s and the low 40s and because uh, they're not made out of the same material that our coins are made out of and so I'll uh, keep looking see what we find I got about two hours so let's have some fun
Well, I got my first ring. I've been digging a lot of these these uh, euros up and a couple of a Russian coin, but these euros ring up just like a stinking Lincoln. Just they're ringing up terrible, like in the 30s. And this was hitting in the upper 40s and 50s, and it's tarnished pretty bad. It's an old ring, but uh, it's been in the lake so long. I don't know what it is. It's going to take a while, but it's my first ring in the in the swimming area. So I'm going to stay out here. I was going to leave because I wasn't getting anything but a bunch of trash targets. But uh, this is hope for right here. All right, we'll clean this up later and show you in the wrap up. Well, I spent about an hour, hour and a half out here, and uh, everybody finally left. And uh, I did get that one ring. I'm going to clean it up and see what it is. But uh, apparently someone had called in and called the police, and the police called, the, I guess, the lake management. And he didn't speak English, and, but I know what name means. Name means no. And so I was told to get out of the, out of the lake. And so I did. And so, but I've, I was fixing to come out anyway. I was working myself out. Lots of coins. And I'll ring up with an iron grunt. But uh, I did find that one ring. And a couple of your rings, but that's it. I thought I would find more. But uh, anyway, I had a good time. You, these coins don't really matter uh, but anyway these are the Latvian coins that they quit using these about five years ago these are called lats there's a one lats and two lats and then we have a five lat and the, all these things ring up with an iron grunt down like 28 to 30 real low real choppy and so did the these are euros this is when they quit using the lat Latvia went to the euro and uh, I think there's a, a two euro and a 20 euro or something like that. A, 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 yeah, a two euro, 20 euro, something like that. And then this is an interesting coin. When you dig these out in the field, you think you got a gold coin. I'd say uh, three kopeck. And this is Russian. So we went from Latvian to the euro to the Russian coin. And uh, these are really cool because when you flip them over, you can see... It's the uh, Soviet, back when they were under occupation by the Soviet Union, uh, when I was growing up, Latvia was under the Soviet Union's uh, control. And that's the 3CP, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Uh, they were behind the Iron Curtain here when they got their freedom in 91. But uh, when you dig these out of the ground, out in the fields out here, boy, they pop up. Oh, they look like a gold coin that you just got. But anyway, I got a couple of... Uh, earrings and the best find for the day was this ring <clears throat> right here and um, I'm not sure I can't find any markings on it but it looks silver 
it rang up like in the 50s, real choppy, and it looks old. It looks like an old ring. It even has a little gold right there, it looks like to me, but I'm gonna, it's tarnished up pretty bad. So that's why I'm thinking it's silver, but I know gold will tarnish, 10 karat, 14 karat. 14 has to be in the water for a long, long time. But they will tarnish and you have some buildup on them. But, uh, but anyway, I'll clean this up when I get back to the States and we'll look at it and uh, see if that diamond is real or whatever kind of stone that is. But hey, I got a ring, my first real nice ring in Latvia in the water. And uh, it looks kind of old. And so we're gonna see what it is and I'll let you know uh, when the video is made. All right. Well, there are the treasures for today. I really didn't dig a whole lot of trash. Uh, there's the trash right there. You get find a little copper thing. Looks like a, I don't know what it is. Might be a, was a ring at one time. I thought this was a ring. It was just a, a lock washer. You can see right there, it's just a lock washer. But anyway, there's the treasures and there's the trash. And the greatest treasure is not what can be found in Latvia. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends, and keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>